Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Fiendfolio, we are jumping in again, and this time I am going to play as Tainted Apollyon, because I have been told that as this fella, as this dude, as this guy, we have some Abyss++ plus plus shenanigans with some of the Fiendfolio items. Apparently, um, Fiendfolio added the Abyss Flies for all of their items, which is very unexpected um, and really awesome. Now, we are on B floor, so I expect death. Um, I, I honestly think that the B floor is um, way too hard <laughs> for the first floor, but we will see how it goes. I'm guessing this is why these existed. I probably should have used them. Oh well. This was also an XL floor, so I unfortunately um, missed out on getting ourselves a devil deal. But at the same time, again, kind of to be expected. What we really want to do here is get as many flies as we possibly can. For the question of the day today, um, <clears throat> what is something that you've never tried that you'd really want to? Um, whether that be food-wise, this is a question that I think I've asked before as well, but it's been definitely a while. Um... What is something like, it can be food-wise or experience-wise, that is really being always at sort of the top of your list to try out? For me, it's not really of one particular thing, but I really want to, like, um, go to a few different countries and try their cuisine, try their food. I'm, I'm big, uh, big into food. I mean, a lot of people probably already know that. Is that a reflected eternal heart? Okay, it is. I gotta say, I was like, if it's reflected, it makes sense to grab it, right? We take damage, but... We end up, um, <clears throat> oh, hello, hello, ghosty boy, but we end up getting the full heart straight away. Oh, God, I love these enemies. These ghosts are so cool. Whoa. Didn't quite get me there. No, thank you. I love these little mini dudes as well. And we get to full health as well here. Very, very good. Very, very nice. So if there's an item, oh, Book of Jubilees is a must take. Uh, Book of Jubilees is fantastic. I'm really hoping I can kill these flies before they take my charges. But if we end up seeing a, um... An item from Fiendfolio that we've either already seen or we don't really like, um, or we don't really need sort of thing, then we're going to end up sucking it up and seeing what sort of different locusts we can get from it. Because, yeah, I really want to see what's on offer. Um, but yeah, Book of Jubilees is honestly fantastic. I think it's every seven rooms we get a, a new effect, and the effects can, can range, like, vary pretty highly and give us some good stuff. This is interesting. Okay, Halo Flies. Two Black Locusts with 0.5 damage. We're just going to take that as a protective measure, I think. Um, ooh, we got uh, what seems to be like a little... Okay, we don't want to kill that guy yet, because that guy will ghost, out... It'll ghost out once we kill him, so... want to be slow on that dude. Starting to learn some of the enemies here. Still absolutely in love with Fiendfolio so far. I really, I am 100% honest in saying that I expected to not like Fiendfolio. I did not really like um, Fiendfolio and Afterbeth Plus all that much. I thought it was very well made, but quite over the top and cluttered. And it felt like there was way too many enemies and it changed the game way too significantly for my liking but i think this time round i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because the quality of the enemies has been improved or like the variety is so much more or whatever it is but either way i am thoroughly enjoying it much more and i intend for this fiend, uh, for the fiend folio to be a mod that i basically never play without um it, it really is a mod that i i can't see myself going back from now it is it Repentance plus Fiendfolio is the way Isaac was meant to be played. It is the definitive Isaac experience. It is a shame that console players will never get this. Um, but yeah, it is really what I would consider the definitive experience. It, it, it's it's truly, truly remarkable what the developers have done. And I'm so glad to be uh, able to play it and showcase it. And like I said, I'll be doing it for a while. I apologize for that pause there. I had a small coughing fit. I had a bit of a cough at the minute. Don't really know where it came from. A red locust. Again, I think we're just going to take that. This might be devil deal fodder. So, I'm just going to take it. But yeah, B-floor's definitely a, a tricky one. Oh, God. Whoa, what happened to that dude? Did he, like, disappear? This, this guy dies after a certain amount of time of not having his stinger in, right? Like, loses health for every moment his stinger's not in. Damn, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to get more out of that. Um... Just about touched that in time. Um, -da 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 -da. 
I'm going to do a first boss first and then come back to that. I might play that a little harder. I, I'm, I'm tempted. Because the thing is, if we die, we can always restart. Like, this is unfortunately not a great boss to start with. I get... I should not say I get hit by this boss pretty regularly. Twice. Maybe three times sometimes. It's not even this boss, actually. It's literally just these little haunts. Their movement disturbs me. The way that they move is just very bizarre, and I do not like it. <clears throat> okay. So at least we got in pretty easily there. There's Book of Jubilees proccing. Very nice. Purple locus with increased speed. Nah, we just want the stats right now. And then boss time, boss number two. <clears throat> Yeah, good. I think only one bomb we need for this guy. <clears throat> it's done enough damage to put us in a good spot. But yeah, um, I really like to know how you guys are enjoying the content at the moment. I really hope you guys are enjoying it. I don't know at the minute we're kind of doubling up a little bit, which is maybe a little bit overwhelming in some regard with uh, being uploading some of the um, Nuzlocke as well. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing with the Nuzlocke, I'll be honest. Um... I'm going to quickly check out my shop because I have 15 cent. I'm hoping I can buy some health. That would be really nice. That would be truly pretty, pretty good. Okay, we can indeed buy some health. We can also buy the mime item. I have had that before, though. I think I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I think I'm going to go and go with that first and I'll come back and buy the soul heart. Just because I'd rather try and get a, a sacrifice room player than buy the mime item. Because the mime item is good, but it's not insane. Like, it, it it can help in certain rooms, but it doesn't help all the time. Right. Angel room teleport, please. There you go. We got it. We got dead sea scrolls. Um, we could go for the extra locust. I'm just going to go for the extra locust. It's really not very, very good for us at all. Random, random angel room item, please. Ah, we got the soul heart. That's okay, though. We're back up to 15 cent, actually, now. So we could still buy the mime item if we'd like to. I thought that item was pretty interesting. <clears throat> so it might be well worth going for. I'm not sure. Jar of Flies is also good. 20 locusts with 0 0.05 damage. That's just kind of funny. Um... It, that is very low damage, because even with 20 of them, that only adds up to what, um... That only adds up to one one full damage, right? So that's that's still pretty bad with, with 20 of them. But not amazing. Okay, we are back, and I will admit, I will admit to you, um, it has been a hot minute. I'm gonna take the Jar of Flies, as it is, as it stands, because I can always suck it up later. It has been a hot minute. Um, for you guys, it has le literally been... 0 0.01 of a second since I was gone, but for me, it has been about an hour. <laughs> I uh, I paused because my girlfriend just got home from work, and I ended up, let's just go normal path, I ended up um, just chatting with her and going to shop and stuff and getting ready for uh, for our tea after this, so yeah, it was uh, it was a while. So what, we're well, going to try and go dark path this time, I think. Dark path, dark path would be quite fun. What's this little bean head dude? I know what the lemon sour guy does. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He fires like a, a split shot homing thing. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. Okay, let's be a little careful here. Do these little dudes count towards? No, they don't. That's fair. Oh, no, I am, I am taking a beating right now. Ooh, new chest. And we got the skip card. Ooh, skip card is really good. Also, it reopened and gave us some spurters. I've said it multiple times before, but my giddy god, this mod does such a good job of, you bastard, does such a good job of animating um, things to like, when when the little skitter dudes hopped out of that chest, then the animation is just so life, I won't say lifelike, but like, okay, I think we kind of have to take this, it's just so like, I don't know, it has so much sort of style to it, and it just, it just looks really, really impressive. Um, what, that's one thing I've noticed about this mod with all of their enemies. All their, like, waking up or being spawned animations are, like, tippity top tier. Tippity top tier. I realise at the minute we haven't really sucked all that much up. Um, but I, I would have probably sucked up Super Bandage otherwise, but I really needed the health at that point. Um, hello, Runaway Heart. I will have you, thank you. Um, 
I don't know if, uh, I really like these little leech dudes. I don't know if killing with my locusts gives me a, a fly spawn. I need to check on that. Let's, um, you, let's use the next room to try and figure that out, shall we? I reckon they do, but I still, I still need to find that out. So, you die, good, good, good. And then we throw you guys. That did count, okay. I still want to test it again just to make sure. Yeah, that definitely counts. Good, good, good. I thought it would. Okay, we. there's no reason to blow up these sacks because I think all they do for us is spawn the white spiders. And I don't think they count towards room clear. Maybe they do? They seem to be shrinking somewhat or is that just my mind playing tricks on me? I, I really like the expansion of all the factions. Would you really call them factions? I don't really know what you call them. But, oh, Book of Jubilee's paying out again. Um, the expansion of all the different, like, enemy archetypes is is really huge and, and a very, very cool uh, addition to this mod. It really feels like some of the floors have a way stronger theming and, a, a, I don't know, just a way stronger sense of self um, rather than them being so similar to other floors. They really do have their own identity. And, yeah, Fiendfolio has done a very good job at not only matching what the game had already established, but adding to it in a really, I don't know, just concise way. That was an unfortunately very terribly placed bomb there. For some reason, I thought the frail was like the pin, where he took a decent amount of time to pop his head up, but turns out he just popped his head up pretty much straight away. Okay, frail is on to his second phase here. That was an equally bad bomb. I'm just not going to bomb here. Ooh, this is a slightly hard version of him in terms of where he sat there. Ooh. I'm, I was lucky to do to, to do the uh, movement that I did there. I think what's letting us down right now, particularly, is our very, very low fire rate. Our fire rate is pretty abhorrent. I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, we could skip this guy, but I very much want an item from him. The skip card seems like it's going to be really useful. Moldy bread, I think we're at the point now where we can probably abyss that, but I'm going to leave it till I've checked the devil deal here. So we do have a new item over this way. Um, on death, enemies spawn a cross that damages enemies in an area of effect. Enemies killed by the cross don't spawn another cross. That sounds really interesting. I think we'll just grab that. We'll just take it. Um, four red mini Isaacs with a black glow. Three black uh, heart locusts. So I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and abyss it. And then I'm going to take that just as is. Um, and then I'm going to grab this. Ooh, our character's looking pretty funky. Uh, I do want to do the rest of this floor. I'm, I'm more invested in doing extra uh, rooms on the floor. For one, just to see more enemies. For two, I think this mod kind of calls for an ex extra upper hand here. So I think these... Oh, that's really cool. Okay. That's not what I was expecting to see at all. That was not what I was expecting that to look like. And it, it looks really good. Black lipstick. Um... Plus one chance, percent chance to black arts is really, really bad, but I'll take it. Also, that one was significantly larger than the last. So perhaps it's based on the health pool of the enemy as to um, the size of the consecration zone. Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking of... Um, it, it, looked like, it looks like something, a skill from Diablo 3 called consecration. Um, I, <laughs> probably not a fitting word that anyone would really associate with it, but there you go. Also, our tiers look really awesome. It seems to be just a chance-based thing to spawn one of them. It's probably not going to be super useful. It kind of it kind of makes me feel like it's a sort of black powder activated via killing. Ooh, there's some carrots here. Um, the carrots have faces. I think that's actually because um, Edmund once said that like, with Antibirth and some of the enemies that were removed, one of the reasons is he, he always likes his enemies to have faces. He doesn't like having enemies that don't have faces. There's only a very limited number in Isaac that do. So I'm guessing the uh, Fiendfolio team kind of ro rolled with that and memed it a little bit. And just put an Isaac face on a carrot. Because why not? Because <laughs> why not? But yeah, well, like, in, in bigger rooms, it seems like that's going to be more of a impactful thing. But I kind of wish I'd have maybe locust it because it's not doing all that much for us right now. But there you go. It got, it got a bit of damage there. It killed two enemies. It killed two. Ooh, 
Ooh, hello. A dime when you already have five cents. That's the perfect time to get a dime. I wonder those little hopper things in the pit there that were just about to spawn. If there's any new versions of that sort of, sort of thing. Okay, get the brain. That's a cool enemy. The way it kind of splits apart and you've got to take apart the bits that that are going to run towards the hearse before the hearse, like, attacks you. I like these little mini Isaac dudes we've got going on around us, too. They seem to have decent damage. Hey, Book of Jubilees paying out again. Book of Jubilees is one of those items that it's just like, it's all good, man. It's, it's just so positive. Okay, I'm not really sure what these guys do. I mean, we just kind of found that out. Bit scary, what they are, bit scary. I like the new change to these guys. I'm not sure, there is quite a lot of changes to existing enemies. I'm not sure how many of them lie with uh, Fiend Folio and how many of them lie with that mod. Whoa, this guy's like a jellyfish. Um, Lie with the like improved combat and furs mod. It could lie with either one of them. These, both of these enemies on this room, these, these varieties are really interesting. Check this out. Slippy's head. Chance to fart while near um, near enemies. Farts can scale with luck. Farts vary in type. Okay, let's abyss this. And it seemed that we got a regular locust, which is a shame. Like, I, I do say, like I said, um, some of the feed folio items apparently do have locusts. I don't know how many. It might not be all of them. I mean, clearly it's not all of them. Either that, that wasn't from Fiend Folio, but I'm pretty sure it was. I'm fairly sure it was. Okay, we're killing stuff pretty fast at this point. Dice Goblin. Spawn three random objects on pickup. Spawn one object at the start of every floor. I don't really know what that means. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that is pretty damn good. So, I think... For this, I'm going to go here. And Dice Shard, maybe? I'll take the Dice Shard into the boss room, at least. That's an interesting item, though. I like that. I know I've got the skip card there. The skip card seems like it's going to be really good for, like, a Mega Satan or something like that. But I'm not really aiming to go for any of those bosses right now. I suppose I could skip the first phase of Satan or the Lamb. Another new boss here. Although we have fought this guy at least once before, I think. I don't remember exactly. Ow. Oh, God. Whoa, that's pretty huge. Uh, we got deviled eggs here. Two immortal hearts, which I knew. And um, tears up. We'll check what the immortal hearts are like, because I've not had those yet. Ah, the immortal hearts are the same as the fiend hearts. Check our devil deal here. Ooh, okay. We've got Lil Fiend, which is apparently a zero quality. Flies diagonally across the room and has a chance to drop fiend minions when colliding with enemies or enemy projectiles. Minions disappear on room clear and will not drop a black heart. BFF increases the hitbox and chance of minions dropping. Okay. I think at this case we um we do this and we leave the other one. Them two items are pretty good. And you know what? Let's just keep dice shard. So it said we're gonna spawn an object at the start of the next floor. I'm wondering what the what that entails. What what else counts as an object? So we got a glass D4 there. That's for a full run reroll. I don't think we need that right now. I have to say, Dank Depths has been one of my favourite flaws from Fiend Folio at the moment. I think it's really, really a cool flaw. <clears throat> but it's kind of somewhat reminiscent of Dice Bag, isn't it? Where we're going to be getting some of these sort of things. Hey, once again, Book of Jubilees paying out big. Obviously, that's not the best payout. I think once we've completed 49 rooms as well, it gives us a bed, which right now is really useful for us. Because um, that'll just give us three soul hearts. We got ourselves gift card. Ooh, gift card's really good. There is definitely some overpowered seeming, um, some overpowered seeming things in Fiend Folio, but I, I'm not going to complain for now because the mod does make the game more difficult, so I won't judge. Peppermint. Chance to fire a fire that damages and freezes enemies. Let's try and abyss that again. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. I was um, I was either misled or was incorrect, or I'm just getting unlucky. Because that is just a regular old um, 
Abyss plus Locust. Shame to be missing out on some of these cooler items here that I could be trying out. I apologize. Calm down, you. Fool's Gold. Curse Pennies can drop um, on Room Clear High Replacement Chance. Yeah, let's try that. I like the Curse Pennies. They can be good or bad. At the minute, I'm just holding on to the gift card thing because I might be able to make some plays with that. Although we don't know where our secret room is yet, so... It's not super likely to happen soon. I love these little sewer door things that we got for these rooms. I, that's another thing as well. I'm liking these, like varieties of, of different room types within each floor. There definitely seems to be a lot of that. It's not just all dank depths everywhere. There's also some other interesting parts of the floor and different types of the rooms and stuff. Some sort of dank viz. Jumpy boys as well. Golden penny for our troubles. That was again from Book of Jubilees. <clears throat> it's just too good. It's just too good. Up to 20 cent. Shop is going to be majorly important for us right now. The effect for that item is really cool. But overall, ooh, like I like these rooms, like the trash ones. Overall, it seems like not a great item. The effect is just a little too hard to hit. But yeah, rooms like this, they fit the dank depths so well. But it's so cool to have these, like, different archetypes of rooms. And all the trash and stuff. It's just cool. I didn't even realize there were some black poops in there. Could have utilized them. As a curse penny. Okay, so we can... Gift card here. It makes them free. Ugh. That is news to me. Okay, that is even more powerful than I was last assuming it would be. Oh my, oh me, oh my. I'm just going to shortcut into here because I can't be asked walking around. We got Lump of Coal. A black rock locust with extra damage. Um, Yeah, I'll abyss that. Why not? And then we'll hem it back. Grab the other one. I can't believe, actually. I can't believe that that's free. Also, we got the hero font here mixed with this. <clears throat> right, back up this way. Health is looking fine now, though. No more lump of coal. Damn you! Both of them gave lump of coal. But at least now, we get the lump of coal item and the lump of coal locust. I suppose that's not a bad thing. But it is a little bit of a shame that we got Lump of Coal twice in a row. I'm guessing it must be predetermined on the floor that you're on. So, like, if if I spawned 99 of those, uh, all of them would end up being um, Lump of Coal. These rooms look so good. So, so good. And then we got our boss fight here. Almost got hit by the poison there. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go on the on this guy. Ooh, new boss, new boss. What is going on with this guy? Okay, so he's spawning the like little pustules everywhere, the little boils. And he's gonna, I think, <coughs> he only, oh no. I was gonna say he only moves between these things, but clearly not. There's multiple versions of him too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that wasn't, that clearly wasn't meant to happen. Really cool boss there. He's a tar man. Um, I think we're gonna take that because our speed is low. And Vamoosh. That is a really cool boss. I'm loving these new bosses and stuff. It's really nice to see. This time we get the glass Azerite spin down. Activate the Azerite spin down effect, re-rolling all trinkets in the room by um, subtracting their internal ID number by one. Intriguing, I guess. Careful of all those. A bit more dank depths. There's the bed. I think we do have burn hearts now, so it should just fill our burn hearts. I don't think it'll do anything other than that, but that's still good. Damn it, penetration up doesn't work on these enemies at the moment. They look so cool. 
Don't know what these red flies are doing. They seem like they're going to make our enemy more aggressive. I like the little cans that they have in their back. They're kind of like um, hermit crabs that are using trash. Yeah, I like the idea of this Azerite spin down. Could be kind of interesting. Nothing great there. Good old lump of coal. <clears throat> Got quite a lot of new items show up this run. Some of them we haven't taken, but still quite a lot of them showing up. Tough cookie. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's grab that. Let's try this on that, shall we? Um, fortune Worm. Shot speed plus two luck replaces some tiers with fortune cookies, which deal slightly extra damage and display fortunes on hit scales with luck. Okay, that seems kind of interesting, actually. Let's take that instead, shall we? That's a pretty cool little fortune tier there. Display fortunes on hitting enemies. I think they've just done that because they've added a bunch of new fortunes and they want to show them off. <laughs> I mean, it's a genu generally pretty good way of doing it. Also, the increased luck is rather nice here. I like that. Item room first, thank you. I'd like to see that. Oh. Oh, god damn. Yeah, we're gonna go dark path this run. These enemies are pretty risky. Ooh, an all black pill. Hey, it's a luck upgrade. <laughs> Fantastic. Got a little bit of backtracking to do to get back to our item rooms. Should not take us too long. I do find it funny the way it spawns a bed just like in the middle of nowhere. Just like, here's a bed in, the ran in this random room. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is problematic. <laughs> okay, that was, um, yeah. If that's going to happen regularly, that's not a great idea to keep this trinket. Because that is virtually impossible to see. Which I assume is the point. Is why it gives you such good stuff and that's the downside. I don't know how to get to that, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, I think I'm meant to use you. Yes, I am. I'm meant to use you to charge it. Yum heart. A red locust has a low chance to charm enemies. We'll take it. Yum heart. There's no need to be down. What is this guy? He's like a little bear? Interesting. More money for us here. Okay, back to the boss fight. <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I'll probably end up dropping this trinket, I've got to be honest. It seems like that, uh, the, the longer trinkets especially, can kind of get in the way of things. I do like the, uh, the tough cookie. Tough cookie's a pretty good one. I don't know if boss rush has changed at all in this. Dude, kick it to max. What did that say, kick it to max? I spawned Mother Orb at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, this is going to be entertaining, just reading all of these fortunes as we get them. Going Dark Path. We'll check this out real quick. I will take this, and we will bounce. I think my health is pretty low now, though. I think I'm only on, like, four hearts, maybe five. I'm on two. <laughs> um, summon an open shop chest. Oh, hello. I will take that, thank you. Okay, so chances of survival, I'd say, are somewhat low. Eye of the Occult plus um, Eye of the Abyss is pretty good. Getting hit there, not so good. Okay. <laughs> That's entertaining. I love that. Okay. I, th I think a problem for us right now is going to be we are very, very, very uneducated on what some of the enemies on this floor do. So, I feel like that could be our demise. I was really hoping that Book of Jubilees was going to be our saviour there. Sadly, it just gave us money. Stop giving me fortunes, I can't see.
You need to die, sir. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Okay, we finally got it. <clears throat> what on earth is this? This is a 12 room? Class D20. Oh, that was cool. I feel like I owe it to myself to try and get a soul heart here. Damn. Is that going to re-roll every single rock on the floor? No. It's not. Oh, wait. Nope, it is. It is. This could be both great and problematic. If it does it in this room as well. Is it going to do it in this room? Maybe when the room's over? It is going to do it when the room's over. Really cool effect. I can see this being incredibly problematic for myself. I feel like I'm going to end up accidentally getting uh, bashed on and die. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That room is a little scary there. Okay. We need to be sticking around though because we need to look for opportunities to... Um, Opportunities to get extra HP in these rooms, which I'm guessing there's not gonna be a ton of, but there will be some of. I don't know what to think of these bouncy boys. Red fires. I don't know if those things were relevant to the rest of the enemies in this room, but I want to get rid. Next game. No, don't say next game. That is rude. Damn it. <laughs> that was unfortunate. What a death. Either way, that was a fun run nonetheless. Abyss Plus Plus. Definitely, um, we didn't see any, but we definitely got some interesting items in our run there. Definitely some fun ones. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.